Hey guys, 911 operators getting frantic calls from people roughly two weeks ago near a canal at 44th Street in Camelback when the suspect was allegedly attacking people, then runs from police. Hi, I just called because there's a man outside trying to attack people. He just yeah, he's coming him. back. It's no, he him. just like threw me to the ground. He had a stick. He said he wanted to kill me. He started screaming. I knew he was trouble from the second I saw him. Sheer panic in the voices of multiple 911 callers. He should have just turned around as soon as I passed him. He turned around and came at me. He threw me All towards right, the wall. Ma'am, ma I know you want to give me a lot of information. That subject, white, black, Hispanic, Native American. Phoenix police telling 12 News, Cambrell Dante Sharp damaged property and attacked people. He's running towards 44th Street. He came towards me. He does have something in his right hand. Don't do it. You're going to want to stop, man. Get down on the ground. Get down on the ground. You can hear the sergeant pleading with Sharp to drop what officers say turned out to be a pruning saw. My flashlight is shining right at the officers that headed directly towards me. Keep driving on the canal bank. Man, just drop it. After not only refusing to surrender the saw or himself, he then starts to approach the officer before her backup arrives. You're going to want to stay down there. Don't come up here. Don't go up. 998. Former assistant Phoenix police chief Andy Anderson says based on the attack details from 911 calls and the suspect's behavior, the officer is justified in her use of force. She kept calm. Uh, she went back on that canal bank by herself uh, to confront this individual because she knew the threat this individual had posed to that neighborhood. And so she didn't wait for backup. She went back to make sure she could get that threat stopped. Sharp will be fine. The shooting leaving him only with minor injuries. Meanwhile, the investigation is still ongoing and authorities are still searching for a motive. We're in Phoenix. Rachel Cole, 12 News.